looking fish actually got some cool looking red spots on them one thing i've realized the past few months like one of my biggest weaknesses in fly fishing is dry flies so today is just kind of like a normal like a normal session i'm not actually today's more of a practice session i would say for me i'm not actually out like super focused on catching a bunch of fish. I'm mainly just focusing on catching fish uh, like one certain way. And since I live close to this area, it's a good place to to practice that. Like if I feel like if I'm going on a trip to Roaring Fork, Montana, there I'm gonna catch as much fish as I can, any way I can. But yeah, one of the good things about living so close to a river is I can get to the river and just focus on one specific technique on fly fishing and yeah, try to get better at it. So what up guys, this week we ain't doing any traveling, we're out, yeah, back on the front range again, just another regular session today. Um, we're out, nice little river. And my goal for today is really to catch my first five fish on dry flies before I decide to switch to nymphs. I have a tiny little size 18 dry on to start with. And yeah, I'm just gonna move up and fish. Like I said, first five, I'm gonna try to get on a dry fly. And, and then we'll move up. So yeah, we'll get going and hopefully we can get some fish on a dry. Five fish on a dry before we start throwing nymphs. Here we go, first fish on the dry. This is just a tractor CDC pattern. Just like an F-Fly, a tractor. Nice little brown. First fish of the day. This is number one. Like I said, I'm trying to get five fish at least on the dry before I can switch to nymphs. Here we go, number two, finally on the dry fly. Nope, so on. So I moved up the river a little bit. This is the number two brown on the dry. Like I said, I want to try to catch at least, start off the day with five. So this is a number size 18 dry fly. Sitting in the soft water there, pretty good dry fly water. This next little stretch, I have really good dry fly water. Some on the far side. But I think this little soft stuff ahead of me is really good. Should be able to hopefully get my five through here. Another nice little brown. There's a tiny little browns in this creek. And yeah, that's number four. One more before I can finally switch to nymphs. Here we go. This is number five, finally. This 
so now I can nymph if I want and yeah, use both. But it's a nice, really pretty looking fish. Actually, got some cool looking red spots on them. So this is the fly I'm caught the last few fish on is a size 18 CDC fly. It's just a simple fly, nothing really fancy about them. Yeah, so let's go through the little deeper area with nymphs, see if we can pick up any some more with nymphs and since I got yeah, five on drives, but if I get to another location where drives will work, I'll switch to it. But yeah, we got five on drives to start today. Here we go. It's the first fish nymphing today, little guy. Funny little guy, first fish nymphing. So I <clears throat> fished dries to start at five dry. Caught five fish on dries. I don't know if I got the last one on camera, but so finally switching up and then just nymphing this area. This area looks really good. And then I might I'm still gonna throw dries, but this area just looked too good to not nymph. So so I can pick up a few more nymphing before I move up. There we go. Finally. Another fish on a dry fly. Really slow day nymphing for some reason. Started a little late than I wanted to, but I haven't had anything on had maybe one or two on nymphs. I don't even think I got them on camera. But I had a bunch on this is like the sixth or seventh hole on dry flies. So here we go, another one on dry flies. Another one on the dry fly. Same thing. I'm just fishing all dries today actually. Just took the nymphs off and decided just to stick with the dry. So this is number I mean, six or seven. It's been fairly tough, not catching as much as I thought I would. But still everything's just been on dries, which has been cool. Dropped him. Damn. Second or third fish I caught today on a net. The rest of all been on drives, but there's a little brown on a, just a single dark dark nymph.
another one on the nymph. Single nymph. Really shallow stuff they're sitting. Everything I've mainly caught has been really shallow. little guy and them things to get a good hole. Looks like it should be them. A little brown on a little, just a little fuzzy top out there. top dropper this time. So like I said, a lot of the fish seem to be sitting in the like softer stuff right on the sides. I haven't gotten much like the deeper, faster stuff for some reason, but everything's been right on the sides for the most part. Still the last few fish have been off the nymphs, but for the most part a lot of them came off the dry fly flies earlier. go another little brown seeing so in the soft spot on the far side it's been about the average size probably sorry guys I'm in today's session here overall it was okay caught fish really warm day but one of the things I really focused on today was just fishing dry flies like there was a few places where I probably should have switched up and put some nymphs on and but I just stuck with the dry flies um, 